Yo, what is up guys? AD here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be checking out on whether or not you guys should invest or summon into the new five star water type Kubaba. So as you guys could see, we do have her on the screen and let's head into the archive and get started here. So as of course, you guys do know that we can obtain this five star unit from the current Ragna Break event. So there she is. And if you guys are newer players, Ragna Break is the event we currently do have active here on Destiny Child Global. And as you can see here, you do have the opportunity to obtain free copies here of the new five star Chaser Kubaba here throughout the event here in the shops as well as from the Ragna Break missions here. So a free unit here and honestly a decent unit to invest in I would say here before we do dive in if you guys did just want to hear the straight up verdict for the new Chaser Kubaba. I would say she's a pretty decent investment here and let's dive into her kit now and see why she is a decent investment and should you really even consider investing into her. Now we do have her here on screen, we do have the base skills and we'll overview the max skills at rank 7, the plus 6 skills as well as the ignited skill set to see how she does change from her base skills. Now we do have her here, water attack of course, this is the standard auto attack here for the unit, deal 103 auto attack damage to the target. As for the tap skill here, rapid river, deal 405 damage to one enemy. Priority lowest HP, skill gauge minus 30%. Now the tap skill here, you probably won't be using it here in PvP. She does seem to be centered more towards the PvP side of the game here on Destiny Child Global. The tap skill here, pretty niche I would say. As for the slide skill here, this is where she does gain her true power as most units do. We do have Torrent of Bullets here, the slide skill rank 1 stats, deal 721 damage to 2 enemies. Priority charging skills, inflict decay, deal 1500 damage each time targets receive time based buff for 20 seconds in PvP, skill gauge minus 35% for enemies so a pretty interesting slide skill here as of course if we do break it down she does target two enemies so pretty decent here and standard for units and we have prioritizing the charging skills so she does have a slow effect here on the slide skill which is pretty decent here i would say a nice one here overall now it doesn't have a slow effect like some of the other debuffers here such as Anthony nicole etc moving on into the decay we do have a deal 1500 damage each time the target receives a time-based buff here so the decay here does deal 1500 damage towards the enemy if they do happen to receive a time-based buff here which is very nice if you are going up against a team here that does depend on buffs here in the devil rumble which is pretty easy to come by in pvp and we do have here it's lasting for 20 seconds long so a good length here for the slide skill and in pvp the exclusive effect here skill gauge minus 35 percent for enemies so a slow here on the slide which is very nice here but when comparing to other units like nicole for example here we'll check her out before we do continue into kubaba's kit let's check her out here we do have her on screen now as for Anthony Nicole, just to give an example on what I do mean here, we do have here her Snow Bomb, which does have here the skill reset, as well as the freeze here, which does have skill gauge charge amounts decreased, as well as the damage over time debuff increased. So a difference here comparing to Kubaba, as Anthony Nicole here does have the skill gauge charge amounts decreased, and Kubaba does have skill gauge minus for the enemies here instead. So just a comparison between some of the top tier water type debuffers I would say Kubaba does seem to be pretty decent here based on the slide alone now you will definitely need another debuffer by her side that could toss out debuffs like Nicole for example we keep using her as she does have snow bomb freeze etc as well as the damage over time increased so if you do plan on using Kubaba you will definitely want to surround her with a debuffer that does have those slow effects in their kit as Kubaba Kubaba here does have a sort of direct slow here as she does have the skill gauge minus here for the enemies as well as she does punish them for receiving time based buffs which is nice here 
as well. So there is the breakdown for the slide skill. As for the decay, as of course you could see here in the buff info, deal damage whenever a target receives a new time based buff here. As for the drive skill here, it also does have decay here. So very nice here. The drive skill deal 2,129 damage to three enemies, priority lowest HP, inflict decay, deal 1,800 damage each time a target receives time-based buff for 20 seconds and a 90% chance to reset skill gauge, which is decent, I would say here for the drive skill. Now you may drive some of the other units in PVP depending on your situation, etc. And of course, the types of debuffers you do surround her with. And overall, I would say here a decent drive skill here, and it does have a 90% chance to reset skill gauge. So not too bad here, as well as inflicting decay alongside the 90% chance to reset the skill gauge. And this is of course applied to three enemies, priority the lowest HP. So pretty nice here as it does prioritize the lowest HP here. And for the leader buff here, last but not least, skill gauge charge amount minus 18% to all enemies here. So more of the direct slow here in Kubaba's kit. Very nice overall, a pretty good unit I would say, probably going to rate her personally an 8 out of 10, maybe a 7.5 out of 10 as we do have more debuffers coming soon to global. Overall a pretty good kit here and comparing to the rank 7 skills, let's check them out here on screen as well at the max level 10 here for rank 7 we do have the skills scaling here on the tab skill from 34.1 percent at rank 1 skills to 61.1 percent here on the tab for the rank 7 skills as for the rank 1 skills of the torrent bullet here she does deal 1530 damage for 20 seconds and a minus 39.1% for enemies here and at rank 7 skills 1854 damage here for 20 seconds still and minus 66.1% skill gauge for the enemy here on max skills which is very nice a good increase here on the slide skill and last but not least here the comparison from the drive skill we do have 2129 damage here 1800 damage for the decay for 20 seconds long and a 90% chance to reset the skill gauge and at max stats here we do have dealing 4900 damage here to the three enemies and 1800 damage for DK as well as still the 20 seconds and 90% chance to reset the skill gauge and of course the DK damage didn't increase as well here for the drive skill now to check out her ignition here we do have some changes as we do have the decay dealing a decent amount of damage here now and the slide skill being a deal 2854 damage here and the rest of the slide skill doesn't manage to change i don't believe here for the ignited slide skill as you guys could see the skill changes actually to three enemies so it goes from two to three here and it also does have a significant increase here in the decay damage as well as the skill gauge minus does manage to stay the same so no increase here based on the ignited skill set here for kubaba here on the slide skill and moving on to the drive skill here being ignited it does change the decay damage from 1800 unignited max skills to 2800 and the damage does increase from 4900 damage to three enemies to 7663 damage to three enemies no increase in the enemies of course and we do have here the 20 seconds and 90 percent chance stays the same as well and for the leader buff here no change in the leader buff overall going to ignited status so there is the kit breakdown overall a pretty good unit i would say she isn't too necessary in pvp as of course we do have other debuffers like we did mention in today's video already such as Anthony nicole as well as others such as natalis here and more such as methuselah methuselah and nicole are probably the best two 
compare to the new Kubaba as those may be some units you could consider pairing her up with if you do want to really use this new Kubaba units. Of course she is free and pretty decent for PvP so definitely a case worth using here as you can obtain it from the Ragnar Break event. Now like I did mention we do have some other debuffers coming up soon here in the next narrative dungeon as of course we do have Katzi here which is a nice debuffer here that does prioritize the supporter allies here in her kit. So just something to keep in mind as we do have some amazing units coming up soon here. And of course, one of the more anticipated units here in Ziva, you would probably want to save your investments for Ziva over Kubaba, but it's definitely an option you might have to debate over depending on your crystal count, etc. If you do need a PvP debuffer at the time or not, as of course Kubaba is free. Now personally, I will definitely stay away from investing into Kubaba as I will want to invest into Ziva as she does have more potential and honestly you can just look at the length of her skills alone. Overall, a very scary unit here. But not to get off topic here and to give the final verdict here on Kubaba, I would say she's pretty decent but you do need to surround her with other debuffers such as Nicole, Methuselah, etc. Depending on the units you do have invested in so far for the Devil Rumble side of the game. Of course Kubaba may be pretty good for Endless Duel, I'm not sure how the meta teams do stack up against in the endless duel i do believe most teams do tend to use all debuffers but yeah overall a pretty good unit i would definitely stick to my rating of the 7.5 or 8 out of 10 here for the pvp she won't be used in any of the other modes here on destiny child so if you don't need a debuffer definitely hold off on investing into her and you can just uncap her of course for the current mission pass missions but other than that, you may want to just hold off for the next debuffer in Ziva as she'll be arriving very soon and does seem to be a way better investment than Kubaba. But like mentioned, if you do really want to use her, she does look very beautiful, amazing looking unit and a pretty good one if you do surround her with the nice debuffer supporting cast to take full advantage of her DK as well as the skill gauge minus here she does have as well. But anyways everyone that'll pretty much do it for today's Destiny Child video on whether you should summon or skip on the new Kubaba. Of course we do have the free copies of Kubaba so this is more of an investment or skip here for Kubaba as she is the free raid unit. As we did mention already, she's a pretty good debuffer unit. If you would like to use her, I would give her the 8 out of 10. We will probably see her a few times in the PvP side of the game as she does look amazing. Honestly, look at this costume. <laughs> I mean, of course, some of you may want to invest based on her looks alone. So definitely do whatever you want as, of course, this unit does seem to be pretty good and just need some of the other debuffers surrounded around her to take full advantage of her kit. But make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you guys did think of today's video. And of course, if you do happen to have any comments yourself here on the new Kubaba, make sure to list them in the comment section below. I don't take myself as a pro in the Devil Rumble, but I do know some of the units here that are invested in heavily, as of course I've been playing the game for quite a while now. So yeah, Definitely my two cents here on Kubaba, take it or leave it, as of course this is my personal opinion on the units, but if you guys do happen to have any thoughts of your own, make sure to leave them in the comment section below, as of course I would love to hear them on this new Kubaba. Overall, I'll be keeping her around as this costume looks too damn good to get rid of, but yeah, there she is, and overall a pretty decent one I would say in the new raid units. But before you go everyone, make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy today's Destiny Child video. And of course, if you guys haven't yet done so already, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as to subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in more Destiny Child videos such as this video here today, as well as other content surrounded on other gacha games such as Seven Mortal Sins, Ecstasy, etc. But with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.